Yes. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? It's Reflections with Val, and I have my guest here, Epidemic, or the other half, right? One, one like fifth. One, one fifth. fifth. There's another half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which he's mysterious, and sometimes he comes out, sometimes he doesn't. I think it's pretty cool. You know, he's like a Sia of the group. <laughs> like you hear of him, you know he's around, but yeah. that's all. You know. <laughs> but yeah. um, Epidemic is a producer, right? Yes. And yes. you make beats for people who don't know <laughs> right yes, how absolutely. long have you been doing that now oh uh, around like 10 years a little a little over 10 years okay yeah a little 10 years so yeah. before we get in i just wanted to shoot you guys a plug in where could we find you at in case you know anybody wanted to uh if it's ig it's epidemic.esco um uh you could also do sttp fam okay you could also find me there if you but epidemic.s goes where you can find okay. me on IG. And you can find me at Sophie underscore Val. And our page is de- currently under construction, but I'm definitely going to shoot that your way. It's going to be Reflections with Val. But yeah, definitely it's going to be on YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, all that good stuff, Apple. So yeah. Oh, so yeah. the plug in there, um, STTP, what is that? For those who don't know what STTP is. That's And where are you guys from? Uh, we are, we're from all over the place. So I'm from, originally I'm from Englewood. Um but mainly is uh, Hackensack. Hackensack is where it all originated. Okay. And um, STP, we, we, we a fam first. We family first before anything. And um, It's a group? It's a group. We're a group, uh, five of us. And I'm just happen to be one fifth of it. Happen to be blessed to be uh, you know, part of that group. And it's, it's, uh, it's super dope. And and this group, it's you with the other one third of <laughs> one fifth of <laughs> epidemic, right? Yes. And then the other three are uh, we got Saint James, okay, so we got it. LB the Great, LB yeah. dot the Great, and then we got Villa. Yes. Oh, and shout out to Indeed because it, it all started with Indeed. Indeed, okay. he's out in Texas. So, Dang. Yeah. Okay, so you so, guys really are from everywhere. Yeah. So it started off with him, and then it just we all just took it and ran with it so you guys are like more of a label or just a group no nah, we're a group we're okay. a group hopefully so, hopefully we can turn into a label but because i literally when i see or hear sttp i think of a label i don't know why that's a good look <laughs> that's a good sound i like the sound of that <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you guys a little upgrade, but yeah. but you know I definitely love all of you guys. I think you guys are a dope group. I've definitely I think last show that I was um, a pleasure being a part of, which is the Check It Open Mic, which is ran by written uh, written by Sade. Sade, on yes. Instagram, um, if you can follow her. But yeah, so we were doing the Check It, and I did a song with her, and it was just great. She mm. killed it. Yes, yeah, she did. Every single time your group goes up, to be honest, um, and every single open mic I've attended, I I attended a beat battle with this guy. Yes, thank you. On uh, one mic day, right? I don't know who runs it, but one, I- mic. <laughs> one mic, one mic. He's, one his mic? name is for me. His name is one mic. Oh, okay. So that's why it's called One Mic Day. Right. Okay. I thought that was the name of the whole event, but okay, this is up, One Mic. Well, okay. I guess on IG, his name is One Mic. So okay. we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like in the beat battle and you guys, whenever you guys go up, man, the crowd always moves. I always see everybody vibing to your beats. Yeah, and- that's what we hope. That's what we want when we come into into what we want our presence to be felt immediately. We want people to know like, oh, that's Saint, that's Villa, that's LB, that's Epidemic. Like, we want that yeah, to be we known. we definitely feel that in the room, for sure. Thank you. Because when you guys definitely walk in, like, you guys walk in as a group, you guys definitely uh, promote as a group. Oh, yeah. You guys are definitely intact in that. And, and shout out to you guys, because you guys have been putting in that work, you know, going into a lot of events in, in Jersey for local artists. You know, they've been really trying. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's a long process, right? I mean, oh, yeah. It's just, this is nothing. It's, it's not easy. You have to. You have to decide that this is really what you want to pursue and you have to go literally from the ground up, from ground zero all the way from shows to planning the whole nine. You have to be into it like it's going to be stressful. It's going to take your time, but it's worth it. You're so right. Um, And talking about starting from the ground up, let's start about how it all started in your life, because I know you guys as a group and I've had the pleasure of working you guys as a group, but I want to know what's going on with Epidemic, right? Where are you from? What was your family like life growing up? Oh, right. Man. Let's talk about. Let's go one at a time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's um, talk about this process and what became epidemic. You know. Well, uh, from originally from Englewood, like I said before, that's where I grew up, and um, 
I went to, uh, I was in middle, um, I always went to like Catholic school. My mom sent me in Catholic school, but it never turned me away from my cousins who grew up listening to like Naughty by Nature and, and, you know, Biggie Smalls and Tupac. So like, I always grew up listening to those things on the side. So because you went to Catholic school, your mom wasn't like trying to have you listen to like worldly music. Nah, it wasn't even that. She just wanted to make sure that I got a uh, good education growing up. Um, She didn't. She was one of those. I didn't believe in public schools. So as I got older, I had to convince her like, yo, let me let me go to public school in high school because you've paid enough money for private for schools, private school. So, not cheap, man. No, it's not cheap at all. So once I heard the price for high school, I was like, nah, like, let me <laughs> I'm still going to do good in school. I'll do I'll get good grades. But um, you did right by your mom's by that. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had to, man. I had to. But um, yeah, just like my cousins, they always like they would dress me in the clothes like like, you know, hip hop, you know, they would dress me in and. I would always listen to it. I'd be the little boy in the in the room just ah. bopping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just having fun with it. And then from there, it just grew to like Missy Elliott and like Aaliyah. And then connected to that is Timbaland. Timbaland, that's when I fell in love with production right there. Once I heard Timbaland, I was like, yo, this is perfect. Wow. Like, this is what I love. Like, mm. these sounds, the way he's creating these melodies. And I was like, how does he do it? It always... It, it always played with me up here but it's something that just so when you listened to this music from timberland or anyone what do you hear you just hear because to me i just listen like to a regular casual yeah. fans artist you know like they just listen to it and they're just like oh it's to be right but to you you listen to it in a you dissect it yeah like, i'm literally i'm one of those i'm literally <laughs> dissecting it i'm i'm trying to hear the i'm trying to hear the the sound that's literally buried in the background Okay. I I want to know what that sound is. That's me. That's how geeky I am when it comes okay, to production. Okay, so you want to know what that what that effect was? What whether that it's a sneer, snare, a, clap, mm-hmm. whatever. Like I want to know, or even like Timberland, he put a baby, he put a baby laugh in a beat for Aaliyah. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who would have ever thought to do that? Who would have ever thought? Right. I You're never. Right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's amazing. I when I was younger, I didn't know that was the sound of a baby, though. I actually recall a time where I asked you this, and you told me "Rock the Boat" was one of your. Yo, "Rock the Boat" is an amazing <laughs> song. Yeah, like until even till this day, R.I.P. to Aaliyah. But yes, R.I.P. It is one of my favorite one of my favorite songs from Aaliyah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Besides, more than a woman. <laughs> more than a woman. More than a woman. <laughs> yes besides be, besides that that's where i'm at with that so like yeah like i just fell in love with production from there and then pharrell came into my life and then those two right there forget about it how old were you when they came um, into your life? i want to say like in the i don't i don't remember the year but i'll tell you that it was in like i found out about pharrell when i heard the clips mm-hmm. like what happened to that boy okay around that time for the clips that's when I found out about a Pharrell. Pharrell, Pharrell and the Neptunes, you know, yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. And then I just followed it from there. And then in high school, I met Villa. And then me and Villa, that we connected because we both had a love for music. And then he brought it out of me like, yo, like maybe you should try to get like you really enjoy dissecting these beats. You should probably try to get into production. And I'm just like, I don't know what that is. I just... I love listening to it, right? But I don't know anything in the background. Like I don't know any of what that. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how about. to create it. You didn't even know the software. Nothing. Or the, nothing. Of nothing. Nothing at I'm, all. You just loved music. You knew that you just could not stop listening to yeah. it, and it was just like I can't stop dissecting it. And Villa was like, "Yo, you just got to do something with it because right. it, just, it just keeps on firing up inside of you." So shout out to Villa. Yeah, shout out to my boy Villa, y'all. Okay. Shout out so, to Villa. What did you do after that? Like, did you just start going into the studio or did you guys just kind of like dip your feet in it a little bit? Like, Yeah, it was more like I just did my research. Like, how are people making these beats? How are people making beats? How are they producing these tracks? And um, I got introduced to a software called Reason. And from there, it's 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 I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know? for real. So you just started researching the, researching, the software reason yeah. how to manage it, how I it works. Bought all the software. I bought a computer. Bought everything that I needed for it, not knowing how to use any of it. Just learn. And that was the best decision you made. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. beautiful. So you, you kind of made 
sacrifices doing that at first because you had to buy the equipment yeah. you had to save money right. money that you probably didn't even have oh no that's no it's money that's that funny. i had it, it took funny. me a while to get it but you know you got to get a first job right right shout out to starbucks <laughs> <laughs> okay you're a little barista uh, yes i was exactly yes <laughs> i could see you behind the counter making i was those drinks. i was making the frappuccinos and and the cappuccino i was back there making your vanilla lattes back in the day <laughs> <laughs> what was your signature drink then you had one that you made up i know you did. still drink Everybody. it to this day cafe vanilla frappuccino Ooh. extra shot of espresso no whip that's where i live and you had to tell them that in order for them to make it? Yeah. <laughs> so they know that, oh, he, well, this I guy used to be here. stay here. I would make it on my own. But yeah, like, you know, when I would, when I was a customer, when I'm a customer, that's what I got to say. Yeah. Damn, it's just that guy. Yeah. That's crazy. But going back, though, um, reason. Right. Starting up the whole program, that could have been a little scary because you didn't even know how to even pick up anything. Nope. I didn't know what a drum pad is. I didn't know what a hi-hat so how um, did you start fiddling with it like when it came down to making your first beat like how was that like did, uh, did you still ha- do you even still have it yeah i do yeah okay I, we always we have an art we have like a little uh inside argument with the group with the sctp fam and i always say my f- the first beat i made it's called unfinished ask them they'll they they go crazy over unfinished and I don't even remember how I first made it. I don't remember what I started with. I just know, like I, I always knew what the sounds were, so I could always. I I was always like, I want the sound that goes like that. I want that sound. And then I had to learn to like find that inside of the 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 program, and then like, what's that boom boom boom? Like, what is that? I didn't know it was kick until I finally realized inside of Reason they they'll show you kick drums and snares and hi hats. So then little by little, I start piecing it all together. So yeah, my first beat is completely whack. Trash. Like the, <laughs> the worst thing ever made. That's what everyone says about their first beat. And it's a, everybody has their own opinion to it. There's some people who listen and they're like, oh, I actually love his. I love his first beat. No. You know, I mean, there's always like, he's like, you're not going to say it. No. Like, I need to take a listen to this first beat. Uh, if I could find it. I wish we could play it. If you I know, could find it. But it's okay. One day when we find it, I'll put it up. I'll promote it on my page and I'll be like, this is the first beat we were talking about. We finally found it. Archives. <laughs> but go ahead. And then, um, and then from there, like yeah. in between, like learning the program and everything, that's when I met. That's when I got introduced to Saint. Mm. And then I. Oh no, indeed. I met indeed. Then I met Saint. And then in between there also, a little bit later, yeah, I met uh LB the Great. Okay. And so you would say that it was after high school that you gotten more, officially yes, a part more, of I was I was friends with them first before anything. Okay. And then a little bit later on it was like Villa's telling me like, yo, like we we got a group. We're called Straight to the Point. And I'm like, yo, that sounds really, really dope. Like, I really rock with that. And then from there, just I introduced myself to them, like, music-wise. I love music, love the beats, production. These this, these are my favorite producers. This is like, And we could literally have intricate conversations about the music, the songs, what we love the most, lyrics. That's we used to do that on a regular basis. Yeah, that's beautiful. When you can do that oh, as yeah. a music head with other people, yeah. it's like amazing. It's, it's a great feeling. <laughs> it is because it's like I'm not the only one that feels this way about it. Yeah, about not, this track because I could talk on and on to people about a track and how it like the Eminem the album that just dropped. Yep. You know, like that's another topic, <laughs> a good topic to talk about. And like I could talk to a casual fan at work about it and they're they're already like losing it. Like me and Joe, we could talk on music all the time and then our coworkers can't keep up. They're like, All right, you know, like but to us it's like, man, we just got started, man. We just got in yeah. it. Got to the nitty gritty of the analyzation or whatever. But that's what? No way. No that's not no no you're a liar that just happened no guys hold on no 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 seriously public service announcement no 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 no, no. don't say that kobe Bryant. are you dead ass can i can i get my phone real quick 
Yeah, go right ahead. Is this a joke? No. Yeah, we just found out that Kobe Bryant passed away. Let me just uh, get my phone, too. I mean, oh, <laughs> it's like... Wait, 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 wait a minute. ESP. LeBron. Wait. Like, why can't I find it? Where'd you find yours? TMZ, Brian, Kobe Bryant dead, dies in helicopter crash. No way. Helicopter? Read on. This is from TMZ. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't like, know. I don't know how accurate. I don't know how accurate this is. This is true. Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash in Calabasas Sunday morning. Uh, he was shot with at least three other people in his private helicopter when it went down. A fire broke out. Emergency personnel responded, but nobody on board survived. Wow. That's crazy. Whoa. And that's that's even more crazy because last night LeBron passed Kobe. Yeah. In uh in scoring points. LeBron passed him last night and Yeah, that is a little scary. Actually. This is got me twirling my hair and I haven't twirled it all through the session. Damn. Wow. <laughs> I'm crazy. really at a loss of words right now. This is crazy. <sighs> what a time. What a time, for real. I mean, we lost a lot of greats in, in the, the last decades. You know, yes, we have. We did. Still. How, how, how old is he? 50, what did he say? 40? I think he's in his 40s. Early 40s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what I, that's why I tell people. You never really know how old you are going to be when you pass there's some people like we have this this thought that automatically like we'll get there when we get there 41 yeah exactly 41 right there but we because we're so stuck in our routine in our daily lives and everything's been okay all of our lives that we don't think it could happen at any age literally someone could pass at six someone could pass at like one of my friends lost her baby sister um, that her mother built bore you know what i mean she must be in like she must be 27 years old and her baby sister was like five mm-hmm. and who was hospitalized and everything for a couple months and she passed it was only like six you know Damn. like you know things like that make you question like come on now like that was a child like, yeah. i didn't even know any better they don't know no better right? yeah and it's like come on that's crazy and we're how how crazy things happen how fast things can happen and we literally just which we could continue to talk but it's just crazy how fast news travels too it just goes to show you like i'm not gonna sit here and cry over corporate brian i think he, he, <laughs> he's like you know, i'm to sit here and cry <laughs> you know like i I'm, just i'm not I feel it because i i mean i'm not a really a sports person but I feel and it. i am i'm a basketball fan i love basketball i played basketball growing up so and corporate brian i'm not saying corporate brian was like the at greatest he's not i'm not taking anything away from him, but he wasn't my favorite you know kobe just wasn't you know he wasn't that guy for me but i respect the man immensely you know but r.i.p to kobe bryant if this is really true yeah four daughters and a wife wow four daughters and a wife i think as a man that's like probably one of the things that they fear is is leaving their family unattended yeah and he retired. I, f- I always felt like he could have played a little longer. But seeing how he had a daughter that was like in, I think she was like in high school now. So like he spent a lot of time going to her volleyball games and basketball games. And it makes sense. Like it makes sense how much time he's spent with he's spent with his family since he's been retired. Like I, I watch him on Instagram all the time. Like he's always at a game posted up at a basketball game or right. with his daughter, you know, teaching his daughters and everything. That's crazy. I mean, it's just crazy because you would normally think natural causes like every celebrity. <laughs> yeah. 
but it was helicopter crash. Helicopter, yeah. what are you going to do? That's can't control that. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Thank you for letting us know, Joe. For real, for real. But let's let's go back to your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um yeah, no. We were back on your first beat. It was called Unfinished. And then after that we were on you kind of got really ignited or put in the group right after a right, little after college, right? And after that, how many beats did you make between that gap when you started your beats originally, right, with your first beat, to making it to STTP? Uh, <laughs> I want to say it was probably maybe like 20 beats. Okay. Maybe 20. You know, I was already, the fact that I was already friends with them first, like, it's almost like as if it was an automatic in, but I still wanted to me personally, I still wanted to prove something to them. Like it's worth giving me a, an opportunity with then the music than to just be like, yeah, you're a part of it just because you're already part of the, you know, the crew. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want an in just because of, you know, by association. I really, I want to prove myself. I want to show. So I just got better over time. Okay. A lot better over time. <laughs> and that's then, like, that's a bar right there. I just got better over time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> And then, like, I just grew. I grew from there, like, maturity and the beats. And you could hear the difference between what it was back in the day to, like, even now, like. So it's truly, like, the more you do it. Absolutely. The better you get. Like they say, repetition. Mm -hmm. You're going to get, you're going to make a lot of beats that you hate. And just, like, you're going to, like, golf. You're going to swing. You're going to swing a lot and the ball is going to curve left or it's gonna go right it's the more you practice the straighter the hit is so then talk to me about the times where you've gotten exhausted and frustrated with yourself did you ever have moments in your process where you've come into a wall of that corner and how did you face it how did you overcome it with that same love and passion that you have for music well i've always been the type to have patience so i always knew i'm never i i knew from early i'm not always gonna make the dope the dopest music or the best sounding music so there's gonna be a lot of throwaways there's gonna be a lot of not keepers you know what i'm saying beat wise and then from there once you get into a groove you can probably go maybe depending on the person you can go like 10 beats straight fire hits right you can make great music consistently um but i learned the hard way where i would literally i would make so i would make so much music i wouldn't go out I would stay home. Like, I've, I'm a homebody person, but yeah. I eventually, I want to get out. I need to get out. I got so stuck on making music, I would get exhausted. I wouldn't make music for like a year because I had put so much time. Into those tracks that you were. Yeah, but like just one around. after another, after another, after like, and, but with that, I got better though. Like the, the beats just became crazy and I don't took my horn a lot. <laughs> but but it's yeah like i'm i'm there now oh I'm, th- I'm there now but yeah you know with with practice and repetition you get better that's one of the things that in my perform i went to a performing arts high school in patterson and one of the things we had little intercom things you know in the, yeah. in the mornings they would always say the best way to get to carnegie hall